Well, changes could be in store for Headwaters Park in downtown Fort Wayne. The city will cut its funding by a third next year. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble joins us now from the park after talking with its leaders today. City officials say that they are looking for ways to save money in the coming year. Aside from cutting park funding here for Hadwaters, the Parks Department is also looking at reevaluating the management situation here. Of Fort Wayne's more than 80 public parks, Headwaters is the only one that is managed by a separate nonprofit group. It's called the Headwaters Park Alliance. It's worked to build up the park to what it is now and continues to work to rent the space out. For 17 years, I've put my heart and soul into this project. We've been involved with the design and the fundraising and the construction of Headwaters Park and now the management of it. Things could remain as they are, but uh, they may not. The director of Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation, Al Mull, says it's possible the city could take over management of the park and save the taxpayers some money. Apart from entertaining that idea, the city also plans to cut its funding for Headwaters by a third in 2010. It'll go from $150,000 to $100,000. The city's contribution to the park's overall funding makes up about 20 percent. The rest is from private donations brought in by the Park Alliance. Our donors have had confidence that they know that money will be spent wisely. They know that it will be put into the infrastructure improvements at the park that will last a long time. And I think they trust our stewardship. Alliance Director Jeff Paddock says he believes the condition of the park speaks for the work of the Alliance. He says the group is able to maintain the park at a higher level than the city would likely be able. That being said, he understands that municipalities everywhere have to cut costs to save money. The Alliance will continue to manage headwaters here through 2010. The Parks Board is expected to okay a one-year extension on the current contract instead of uh, renewing that, and that would uh, get them into a three-year agreement. They're not doing that. They're just okaying an extension on the current one that will get them through the next year. So it won't be until the end of 2010 that a decision will have to be made who's going to manage this park. Reporting live downtown, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.